Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the answers for the multiplying fractions by integers worksheet and will help you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says match the images that have the same answer. And we're multiplying fractions by integers so we need to look at these images and work out what fractions are being shown and what calculation uh, is represented in, within them. So we have A, B, 1 and 2. So if we look at A we have two lots of 2 and 4 sevenths. So on the left hand side we've got 2 and 4 sevenths and we've got the same on the right hand side so that's two lots of 2 and 4 sevenths. So if we write that as a calculation here on A we have two lots of 2 multiplied by 2 and 4 sevenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through the multiplications. I'm going to multiply the whole numbers first and then multiply the fraction part and uh, recombine at the end. So we have two lots of two. So the first calculation will be two multiplied by two will be four. And then we have two lots of four sevenths. So two times four sevenths. So to do this multiplication here, we will multiply the integer by the numerator. The denominator wouldn't change because we're still going to be dealing with sevenths. So it's two lots of four sevenths. So two multiplied by the numerator four, that would be eight. So we have eight sevenths. That's an improper fraction, so if we convert that to a mixed number, we can make one whole one, and we have one seventh left over. So now, if we add the uh, whole earlier on, the that we multiplied when we did the two multiplied by two, we had four. We need to add that to the uh, results of the multiplication of the fraction. So we have four add one and one seventh, so that'll be five and one seventh. Uh, for B, we have four lots of one and four sevenths. So that would be four multiplied by one and four sevenths. So we'll multiply the whole numbers first, so it'll be four multiplied by one, that'll be four. And then we're going to multiply the uh, fraction, so it'll be four lots of four sevenths. So four times four sevenths. Uh, the integer multiplied by a numerator will be 16, so we have 16 sevenths. And if we change that to a mixed number, we can make two holes out of that. So two lots of seven sevenths, and we'll have two sevenths left over. So it'll be two and two sevenths. If we add that to the result of the multiplication of the holes earlier on, so that'll be four, add two and two sevenths, so that'll be six and two sevenths. If we look at one here, we have uh, two lots of three and one seventh, so that'll be... 2 multiplied by uh, 3 and 1 seventh. So multiply the holes first of all, so 2 times 3, that makes 6. And we'll do 2 lots of 1 seventh. So multiply the integer by the numerator, that'll make 2 or 2 sevenths. So actually we don't need to uh, change that at all, that's a proper fraction. So now we just need to add the result of the multiplication of the holes with the fraction. So it'll be 6, add 2 sevenths, and that will make 6 and 2 sevenths. And we can see there that's the results of B and 1 is the same. We have 6 and 2 sevenths, so B must match up with 1. Uh, we'll do 2 as well, just to make sure that does match up with A, which is what we'd expect to see. If we look at 2 then, we have 3 lots of 1 and 5 sevenths, we have 1 whole and 5 sevenths, so that'll be 3 multiplied by 1 and 5 sevenths. We can multiply the holes first of all, so it'll be 3 times 1 is 3, and then multiply the fractions, so it'll be 3 lots of 5 sevenths, 3 multiplied by 5 sevenths, and multiply the integer by the numerator, so 3 times 5 is 15, 15 sevenths. Now if we change that to a mixed number, that's the improper fraction, so we can make uh, here 2 and 1 seventh. So if we add the results of the multiplication of the holes we run, so 3 add 2 and 1 seventh would make 5 and 1 seventh, and that does match up with A. So A matches up to 2 and B matches up to 1. Question 2 says insert less than, greater than or equal to to complete the number sentences. So here for a, we have 7 eighths multiplied by 5, which I've written out, and 3 multiplied by 1 and 5 eighths, which I've written out here. So if we do these multiplications, we can compare the two results. 
So we have 7 eighths multiplied by 5. So here we know the answer is going to be 8. And it's just a case of multiplying the uh, integer by the numerator. So 7 multiplied by 5 is 35. That's the improper fraction. So if we convert that to a mixed number, we can make uh, 4 holes and we'll have 3 eighths left over. So we can make uh, we can use 32 with the eighths to make 4 holes and we'll have 3 eighths left over. So for the second calculation, 3 multiplied by 1 and 5 eighths, we'll multiply the whole numbers first. So 3 multiplied by 1, and that's 3. And then we we'll multiply the fraction, so it's 3 lots of 5 eighths. So 3 multiplied by 5 eighths, we know the answer is going to be 8. Multiply the integer by the numerator, so 3 multiplied by 5 is 15, so we have 15 eighths. That can be converted to a mixed number there, so we have 1 and 7. Eight. If we add that to the whole number result of the one, so 3 add 1 and 7 eighths, that makes 4 and 7 eighths. So, uh, if we look at the uh, question there, we have 7 eighths multiplied by 5 on the left, and that was 4 and 3 eighths. And we had 3 multiplied by 1 and 5 eighths on the right, which was 4 and 7 eighths. So 4 and 3 eighths is less than 4 and 7 eighths, so it should be less than. For B, we have 4 ninths multiplied by 7 and 2 multiplied by 1 and 5 ninths. So if we start with 4, multipl 4 ninths multiplied by 7, uh, this we don't have any whole numbers to multiply, so it's just a fraction multiplied by the integer. So we know the answer is going to be ninths, because the fraction is ninths, and it's a numerator multiplied by the integer. 4 multiplied by 7 is 28 ninths. If we convert to a mixed number, uh, that would be three holes of 27 of the ninths and one ninth left over, so three and one ninth. Two multiplied by one and five ninths then, we'll do the whole numbers first, so two multiplied by one would be two, and then two multiplied by the fraction, so two multiplied by five ninths. The answer will be ninths as well, and it'll be two multiplied by the numerator five, so that'll be ten ninths, which is one and one ninth. If we add that to the whole number earlier on, so two, so it's two add one and one ninth, that makes three and one ninth. We've actually got three and one ninth in uh, both as a result of both of those calculations, so it should be three and one ninth is equal to three and one ninth. Question three says, Sarah is playing a video game and needs to solve a problem. And Sarah is saying, I need to pick the largest amount so that I can finish the level I am on. So we have A and B. A is 2 multiplied by 1 and 4 fifths, and B is 4 tenths multiplied by 8. And the question is, which option should Sarah choose? So if we work out these multiplications, that should convince us which one is the largest result, so which one Sarah should pick. So we'll do 2 multiplied by 1 and 4 fifths first of all. So we're going to multiply the whole numbers here. We're using the, in this method, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. And then we need to do the uh, fraction. So it'll be 2 lots of 4 fifths. So the result will still be fifths. And we'll multiply the integer by the numerator. So 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. And that's the improper fraction. So we need to convert that to a mixed number. So we can make one whole and we'll have three fifths left over. We need to add that to the results of the multiplication here. So it'll be two, add one and three fifths. That'll make three and three fifths. Now for B, we've got four tenths multiplied by eight. So the result will be tenths, and we just need to multiply the integer by the numerator. So four multiplied by eight will be 32. That's the improper fraction, so we need to convert that to a mixed number. So we can make three holes, we can use 30, the 32 tenths, to make th uh, three holes, and we'll have two tenths left over. So now we've got three and three fifths, and three and two tenths. So we've got fifths here, that's the, that's the denominator, and tenths here. If we look at this fraction, we can simplify this, because we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. The whole number won't change, we'll still have three, three holes, but if we... Uh, simplify the fraction, 2 tenths, that'll be 1 fifth. So we have 3 and 3 fifths, and 3 and 1 fifth. So if we look at the results of our multiplications here, uh, Sarah should pick A. 3 and 3 fifths is more than 3 and 1 fifth. That was a video for the answers for the multiplying fractions by integers worksheet from Classroom Secrets. 
If you want to watch a video tutorial linked to this skill, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. And for more resources linked to this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.